everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. How's everybody doing today? Or tonight? Man, oh man. Crazy days, crazy days. Oh, it's so good, man. Yeah, sorry I'm so late today. Um, as you guys know, Wednesdays, usually me and DIY Vape are going on. Um, DIY Vapor, unfortunately, cannot make it today. Hopefully next week, you know. He has a lot going on. Work, family, you know. Um, he needs his time with his family, all that other great stuff. So, yeah, it's a, it's all good. But even though uh, he can come on, I still want to come on and make a stream. So, yeah, here I am. Here I am. I do have some cool stuff. New flavors, uh, new devices, um, just a lot of great stuff to talk about. But first, let me say what's up to you guys. So, Cincinnati King, what's going on, man? Dad, what's up, dude? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Thad, I, I, I really like... You look like you're making a lot of progress in getting your channel all started up. If you didn't know, Thad's actually working on creating his channel. Uh, he's working on upping his uh, production quality. And actually, he's doing a good job. He's, he's taking the steps to do it. So, I, I really wish him all the luck in doing that. Joshua Vapes, what's going on, man? What's up, man? Uh, Vape Cleric, what's up, dude? What's going on? The Vaping Buckeye, what's up, man? Yeah, I didn't get to watch your video yet, by the way. I literally just got back from the shop, and uh, apparently he had a bad experience with, I think it was uh, one of the Kendo cottons or something. Uh, Cincinnati King, I already said, what's up? Uh, trying to make a good custard with Flavor West, Hazelnut, and TFA. I think that's vanilla ice cream. But yeah, yeah, that's good, uh, hazelnut. Uh, Kelly, what's up, what's up? Uh, howdy, new to chat, but not a new viewer. Thought I'd say hi. Oh, well, thank you for popping in and saying hi, Kelly. I appreciate that, I appreciate that. Uh, V-Dog, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? It's me, dude, what's up, man? Let's see. Desiree, what's up? Desi, how's it going? Let's see, I don't know what else to add. Oh, um, oh, let me look at it real quick. Rob Scanlon, what's up, man? All right, let's see. Trying to make a good custard. Flavor was using that. Oh, and TFA vanilla custard. There we go. Okay. Drawing a blank. Um, okay. Uh, have you thought about adding maybe some, like, uh, vanilla swirl in there? Um, Maybe some caramels or butterscotch. I mean, there's many different ways you can go about it. Depending on, like, really what you want. Maybe you could... I mean, you really could even add a cake, too, if you wanted to. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so... Alright. Well, let me let me start off the stream with this. Because I know uh, Joshua Vapes here. And he saw my uh, little post on Instagram. So... As you guys know, in my last stream, I was like, oh, hey, guys, check out what I just got. I got the Lost Vape Paranormal, right? And it was funny because when I posted the picture of the Lost Vape Paranormal, uh, one of my followers on Instagram said something like, oh, if you have a problem with the 510 connector, um, you know, it, it should be covered, but that's probably what it is. So I thought nothing of it. And then intermittently at first, uh, what happened was randomly it would just stop reading the atomizer. And I'm just like, what the hell is going on? And so I'm like, all right, well, let me just give it a rest. And maybe in a little bit it'll work fine. Maybe it was just like a one-time fluke or whatever. And then literally it just stopped reading it. So anyways, the guys at the shop looked at it, and apparently there's a string of problems going on with the 510 connector on the Lost Bay Paranormal. I don't know if it's a bad soldering issue, I, I don't know what, but it has to do with that 510 connector. Um, so, I mean, I spent quite a bit of money on that mod for something like that to happen. It was just kind of like a bad thing, and then what John Phenom told me, I was kind of just like, oh man, like... They look really nice, though, and I really, like, wanted it to be cool, but, like, I couldn't believe I had so many problems just right off the bat. I didn't even have it a day or maybe two days and already having problems. So I decided, I'm like, you know what, I, 
I honestly don't want to get another one because if that's going to happen, it might just happen with a brand new one. So it kind of put like a bad taste in my mouth for um, Lost Vape products and I don't know, maybe I'm being too hard on them. Maybe I shouldn't scrutinize them so much, you know. Things can happen in mass production, but at the same time, you're dishing out quite a bit of money. You're expecting a certain quality product, if you know what I mean. So, I mean, that was my first experience with DNA and with one of the higher-end mods. Like, unlike this one right here, this SX Q-Class, this has been nothing but a dream. But ever since I got that DNA in my hand, it was all problems. Don't get me wrong, there was a learning curve. That wasn't the problem. I mean, there are, like, all these different button combinations, but I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, hold on. Man, that's so good. Man, I am really loving these Kylan tanks. Um, so what ended up happening was I had the option to get a brand new one. And I'm like, you know what? No, I, I really don't want one. So, the... The vape shop that I went to, Easy Vapor, like, they literally, he just looked at it, he didn't give me any shit, he's like, you know what, I can refund your money, you can get a new one, you can do whatever you want, this is like a no-nonsense vape shop, don't worry about it, just do whatever you want. So, instead, like, I'm like, okay, well, I don't want a new one, I ended up going with this, right here, and it's the Vupu Drag, okay? And this is, it was, they had this really nice green one, this green resin. Let me go onto the scale camera real quick and show you. But, like, it, it's, it's funny. Like, this one literally costs, like, a quarter of the price, right? Like, look at that. It's perfect. This screams me. So, it's the Vupu Drag. It has, like, a really solid build design. And the chip in this thing is freaking amazing. And for what it is, for how much it costs, like, I'm seriously under the, con like, I'm seriously convinced this is one of the best mods you can get for your money. And why do I say that? And of course, whatever I say is going to be my opinion, of course. I mean, you guys might have other feelings, but basically, when you get this chip, it's called the gene chip, okay? And, like, you have, like, DNA like quality settings like in other words like you can hook it up to a computer you can change certain things in it just like you would a dna um you can do like temperature curves you can do all that i mean there's certain features that it is lacking compared to a dna but it hits really hard it's really nice like for the money consider no like that that's the big thing right there for the money considering it costs like literally a quarter of the price like that's insane that's insane, right? Now, check this out. I know this is, like, small and stupid, but I geeked out over this. Hopefully, you guys can see this. But look what I put on the screen. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't know if you saw it, but it said JFM Development Just Friggin' Mix. I put that on there, and then I put uh, uh, I put on, like, when it's, uh, you change the ohms of your coil. It's, it's like, new coil, bruh. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. But yeah, so I ended up doing that. And then I, then because I love the Kylan so much, I ended up getting a silver Kylan. So I had two, one for my SX and one for this. I really liked it. So I ended up getting that, and it matches the green resin. It's really nice. I'm telling you, this Kylan tank, it's really good. It's really good. I mean, I wouldn't buy two if I, if I really didn't think so. Like, I really love it. Like, to me, it's pr putting out, it's pretty much pr putting out, like, perfect flavor for me. I mean, of course, that's all subjective, depending on what you like and all that, but. Oh, man, it's delicious. It's delicious. It's like I'm drinking the juice. Alright, let's see what you guys are saying. Uh... Rob Scanlon said, Scanlon said uh, expect the same from just about every company out there. What separates the companies is how they handle the problems. Yeah, you got a good point. You got a good point there. I mean, it, if you really think about it, most of these mods are coming from China anyways. And, I mean, when has China necessarily been known for, like, their... They, they do stuff on large scales... And with it being done on large, sc large scales, you're going to have to expect some problems. So, like, I know that's true, too. But, like, 
I saw this Voo Poo drag there, and it was, like, perfect for me. It had, like, you know, the green resin. It looked really nice. It was a quarter of the price, and I knew I had a problem with Paranormal, and I'm like, well, if this is a common problem, and it happened to me, and it happened to this other guy that messaged me, chances are it might happen to this other mod, too. So I'm just like, you know what? I'd rather just get something different. And honestly, I'm happy I did because it, it hits just as nice. And I know some people are going to be like, oh, no, no way it's as nice. It's not DNA. Well, if, if you feel that way, I do invite you to try one of these genie chips. It's, it's really not bad. And for the money, I think it's really nice. Let's see. Joshua Vape says, $37.99 on GearBest. I'm getting one. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, seriously. Actually, if it's that much on gear best, I'll, I might actually get another one. Wow. Yeah. Now, now let me put this out here, okay? There is one there is one bad thing to this mod. So if you are thinking about getting it, I want to be honest with you guys. There is one bad thing about this mod. The one drawback I have found with it, and it's the shape of it. Now... Okay, don't get me wrong. It has a wonderful build design. Like, it looks awesome. Like, it has nice resin. They have all different colors for resin. They have either, like, a stainless steel color or a black frame. And that says drag on the other side. <clears throat> and the screen, really, really bright. The buttons are nice and clicky and metal and all that. But there's one drawback to the design. And because of what it is, it's the edges, okay? I mean, you can tell that they tried to bevel them a little bit to make it a little bit less bad. But at the same time, it does have edges. So, if you do plan on getting one, getting it knowing that, okay? Like, so, I mean, depending on how you hold it, like, you're going to notice the edges are there, okay? There's there's no way around that. But, you know, I knew that coming into this mod. But that that's probably the one drawback. If you don't care about that, if you're used to boxes and you're not worried about it, just like, I mean, it's not like so sharp where it's going to cut you. Like, I can do this. It's not going to cut me. I can press on it really hard. It's not going to cut me. It is beveled, but at the same time, it's not the most ergonomic. Like, it, it's not the SXQ class where you can just wrap your hand around it and it feels perfect. You know what I mean? So that's the one thing. But does it look nice as hell? Yes. Does it function nice as hell? Yes, so I mean, there's that, but I do want to put that out there. Uh, it's me, dude. I'm sold. <laughs> uh, Crispy says all my comments getting get erased. I'm not sure why that's happening, man. Are you trying to post a link? If you're trying to post a link and you're not a moderator, I think it deletes your comment. That might be it. I'm not sure though, but I'm not de I'm not deleting your comments, Chris. Just so you know. Uh, Kelly, I'm happy that you got something you like, JFM. Good looking setup. Yeah, man, dude, dude, this is like my perfect dream setup. Like, other than my alien when I first got, it. let me go back. Uh, other than my alien when I first got it, you guys know how much I love green. But like, look at this. It has the green O-ring, so that matches. I got the stainless steel to match that. It has the green resin, and then this was the best matching drip tip I could find at a store. It just looks. I don't know. If you see it in person, it looks even better. Like I'll take a nice picture for Instagram for it, but oh my god, man! Like it's perfect. Like when I look at this, I'm just like, oh, you know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. You guys, I know you guys get just as excited as I do about mods when you really get something you like. I know it. Uh, gotta move up from my Aspire Zelos. Yeah, I hear that, man. Uh, man appears. JFM, uh, what is the thing you, you were saying about Thad again? Something about a channel he was doing? Yes, uh, Thad actually is starting a YouTube channel. Uh, he's working on it right now. I know he's, uh, right now he's working on getting his lighting all set up, his camera all set up. We did have a little discussion about it and stuff like that, and he's, like, he really wants to get into it, and I really do wish him the best. Uh, I think, if Thad, why don't you go put your channel name in the chat so they can, uh, know what it is, okay? Yeah, like... 
he wants to start doing that and I, I definitely want I want to help him in any way I can I, I do have some things that I gotta send out to him too I was gonna send him my old uh, webcam that I used to use for my down below before I upgraded like a while ago Shane Sonic what's up dude what's going on man yeah so now back to the Kylan tank though like seriously guys if you're looking for like something with now I don't want to say RDA quality because you know that's cliche and it's debatable to me honestly I think it does give great flavor just like an RDA now can RDAs be better yes of course RDAs have the versatility you can change rewick them whenever you need a new flavor Depending on the airflow, if you cut them down, how high up your coils are, how close they are to the airflow. Yeah, you can most likely get better flavor than this in an RDA. But with that said, this so far in my vaping journey has been the closest thing to RDA quality. Like, gives you a nice saturated vape. Right now I have Nichrome 80 uh, dual aliens in here. And it's ohming out to about 0.12, okay? And let me tell you, without having an RDA, this has been like the best flavor tank I have ever had. And if you guys are looking for something on the go and you don't always want to be dripping, look for the version 2 of the Kylan. Now, let me stress that enough. Get the version 2 of the Kylan because it has a special topper on it where like it actually cranks down the tank and it's not just free floating and loose. So make sure you get the version 2 of it. And they also updated the deck. There's something in the deck that they updated because there's an issue with the first one. So make sure you check out the version too. But look into the Kylan. And if you know somebody with the Kylan, ask to take a puff of theirs or if somebody at the vape shop, you know. Because let me tell you, ever since I use this, like, I love it. I love it. So I'm only using RDAs when I'm testing recipes and stuff like that. And I've been using nothing but the Kylans. But, like, literally... I don't know. I don't even know what to say. It's just so damn good. I almost wish they were paying me to say that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, so I got some uh, new flavors in, of course. Excellent. I'm excited, and there's like a couple of them that I'm really excited for. I already started messing around with some of them. And I think I'm going to have some more variations of some of my most famous recipes because I think it's an excellent new tool on our belt. Uh, let's see. Hey, what's up, Graham? What's going on, man? What's up? Let's see. Cincinnati King says, I can tell you have aliens from the sound of the juice wicking. Yeah, man. Seriously. But, you know, when you hear that sound, that's the sound of freaking heaven on earth, man. Because, you know, that's a nice, flavorful vape. Every time I hear, like, coils, like, go crackling like that, you know you're getting some good flavor. At least from what I've noticed. Uh, Crispy says, uh, can't get a hold of Phenom since show on Sunday at JFM. Uh, Chris, don't worry about it. Uh... Were you one of the winners or something? I, I don't remember. I'd have to relook at the video. But say you want something or you're trying to get a hold of John Phenom. He's a really busy guy as you heard him. He does construction. He has a lot going on. He has kids. Like, he will get back to you. So just don't worry about it. it. Like, things take time. But, you know, John John Phenom has been a really reliable dude. But, you know. If, especially if it's like a giveaway, don't rush him. He's not, he doesn't like that type of stuff. Uh, uh, Chris B, don't, don't, do I forget about giveaway at JFM? Forget about what giveaway? No, you don't forget about it. Just give him some time and it will send it to you. It just takes time. Usually he has a lot going on, but I mean, if you sent him a message, just wait for him to respond to you. He will respond. That's what I meant. Uh, Zesty, Zesty Babes, what's going on, man? What's up? All right, so let's talk about some of these flavors I got. All right. 
so I got an order from Bull City Flavors in. And I only pulled out the ones that I kind of wanted to talk about today. Kind of, well, everybody's kind of already been talking about them, but I wanted to give my take on them. And then a couple others that weren't. And then the other ones are mainly like, uh, see, in this order, I did get a lot of the ones that I want to get, a lot of the new ones. And then I also got some tobacco flavors because, as you guys know, uh, my girlfriend really wants a Marlboro Menthol type uh, vape, and I'm still working on that for her. But I need to get more tobaccos. Like, I didn't have, uh, I, I never really messed too much in tobacco, so I got, like, uh, Flavor Art 7 Leaves and... A couple other ones from TFA, Flavor Art. I already have the ones from Flavora. But I'm not going to go through those because I'm still learning tobaccos myself. Zesty just finished his Halloween skit. Oh, snap. When's that going to be uploaded, dude? Did I say girlfriend? Yeah, I, I meant wife. I meant wife. My bad. My bad. Uh, Graham says uh, that gene chip was supposed to be... The next DNA, but something went wrong and Vupu snatched it. It's why they call it the genie. Get it? Oh. Alpha 1 is completely unseeable because of the edges. Yeah, I mean, well, the drag, too. The drag has some serious edges, too. Like, that's the one thing I was saying. Like, you have to get used to it. You can wrap your hand around it. But, I mean... They are beveled a little bit, and it, it's not horrible if you know it's there, but it's not going to be the most ergonomic. There's no way around that. All right, so let's first stuff. Let's let's start with the TFA, okay? And you guys have probably already heard about this one, maybe not. I got TFA Crunchy cereal. Um, I got TFA Crunchy cereal because you know me and my. Fruit Loops Adventures, I'm trying to, I mean, Fruit Flake Adventures, I'm trying to master Fruity Pebbles recipes, and I constantly always do variations, so, I picked up this one, kind of helped a little bit, I had Flavor West soft ring, I really didn't like it a lot, and I hear everybody talking about this one, I never really picked it up to begin with, because I didn't see that there would be such a huge difference, but, since I got it, yeah, I can tell. I think it's definitely going to make a difference. Even with that uh, strawberry crunch recipe I have, I think that this would actually help that recipe a lot. So, yeah, I got crunchy cereal. Let me know if you guys have had any success with this one. I've heard good things. I've heard good things. Oh, and also another thing about Bull City. How are you guys feeling? Let me know. I want to know. How are you guys feeling about these new... Uh, 30 mil unicorn bottles that Bull City Flavors are offering. Like, I like the idea. I like the idea of, like, once you're out of the flavor, which might take time because you're, they're flavors, right? Unless you're making huge batches. But I like the idea because you'll have a unicorn bottle to use once you run out. But on the flip side, if you already have a collection, you're going to kind of have to, one, redo the way your collection is because they're really tall bottles. But another downside that I've noticed too is the knockdown factor is a lot more, right? So you just knock it over, right? A lot easier to knock down. I don't know. I think it's nice to drip on a scale. I think it'd make things easier to drip, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these yet. I don't know how I feel about them yet. Uh, John Seeley says Crunchberry cereal is a must and fruity pebbles also toning down the lemon yeah i already used crunch berry cereal but never used crunchy cereal which is pretty much without the berries that's why i got it uh -huh. man appear says it happens to me say girlfriend instead of wife yeah, plus, I'm pretty much new, a newlywed anyways. I mean, we haven't been married for a year yet, so... I mean, it's bound to happen once in a while. Uh, Graham says, you know the remodeling I'm going to have to do if they switch to unicorns? 
Yeah, I mean, see that that that's that's one of the things. Like, that's what I want to know. Like, I really don't know how people are gonna feel about this. Cause, like, for example, like the amount of flavors I usually pick up every once in a while, like it's gonna change the way I do things. I mean, my shelf's at pretty high up, so I mean, I I can. But like, another thing too is like, say you have a whole bunch of thirty mils too, and then you have some of these 30 mils and the unicorn and then like you know you maybe you uh do them by flavor profile or alphabetical or however you organize your flavors and you have say a unicorn here then one of the small 30 mils and then another unicorn and you go to reach for one you knock the bigger one down to get the smaller bottle and then it just like knocks over your whole rack so i don't know i don't know it's i don't know <laughs> <sighs> Poke a few holes in a box and set the unicorns in the hole at JFM. It's a good idea. It's kind of like what Fresh 03 does with his little stand he has there for his unicorns. Because he mixes in unicorns. Uh, Desiree says, I like the new bottles. They feel better in my ha in my tiny hands when I'm mixing. Yeah, like when it comes to mixing and pouring into a scale, like... It's definitely awesome. Because, you know... You can hold it a lot better. It's like a pen. You literally pour them in a bottle. It has a nice fine tip on it. Yeah, like, I get that. I'm just more worried about the knocking over and also, like, throwing off people's setups and stuff like that. Uh, Cincinnati King says, uh, Bull City Flavors needs to get nicotine and up their base game. Nicotine River takes tons of their customers because of it. I don't think so. I I think I remember an interview with Bull City Flavors and uh, DIY or Die. I think they're doing that on purpose. Bull City Flavors, from what I remember, that's I don't think that's their main focus. Their main focus is on concentrates and flavors and customer service and stuff like that. Because they, I think they want to, like, you know how they used to be called Bull City Vapor? And then they changed to Bull City Flavors? I think the reason why they don't have nicotine and they also aren't going crazy in the bases is because they're not really focusing on that. They're focusing, I think, more on the flavors. And that way they can separate themselves and not have to, uh, I think it was like FDA thing or something. I, I don't know. I don't know the whole thing. Uh, what the heck's going on? Oh, uh, we had a troll, I think. Oh yeah, just block that fool. Anyone here mix pudding from real flavors? No, I haven't. You know, I've only tried about like, I think about like nine real flavors flavors. Yeah, you're right, Cincinnati King. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for getting my back on that one. Uh, Grant said, maybe test two holders. Yes. Yes. Thanks, Mr. Burgundy. Thank you. I saw you were on that, too. Uh, always gonna have a good troll now and then. Oh, man, tell me about it. Like, seriously, like, no matter what you do, there's always gonna be somebody who throws you down. That's kind of what I was telling Thad the other day about creating his channel. Like, don't ask for anybody's approval. Just do it, man. No matter what, somebody's always going to say something. People are going to hate. Uh, Alright, yeah. That kind of threw me off a little bit. I freaking hate trolls. Anyways. Okay, so. Now. The other flavors I got that I want to talk about today, obviously, you guys probably already know. It's the Silver Line. I got a whole bunch of the Silver Line. Well, I pretty much got them all. I got Black Current. Black Current was the only one that I'm like, eh, should I really get? And I'm like, yeah, why not? It might be good. 
I might like it better than flavor art, but I, I never really cared for like just the flavor of black currant, but I ended up picking up anyways. And then I also got juicy strawberry, juicy strawberry. Now let's start with juicy strawberry. Let's taste some of this. I already did make a recipe with it and it's steeping. I'm gonna try some of this on a hand. And just like most most everybody was saying, it's pretty much like a it's like a sugary strawberry. It's pretty much like a it's pretty much exactly like a cross between red touch and ripe. Cause you kinda get like the the almost authentic strawberry there, and then you get like that candied strawberry there. It's really nice. I like it. I like it. I think this is and now, do I think this is going to be the only strawberry, and should you write off sweet strawberry, or should you write off red touch strawberry? Uh, well, obviously not red touch. But should you write off any of the other strawberries? I don't think so. I think it's a great strawberry, though. I think it's going to help make a lot of great recipes, but, like, with strawberries, I mean, when, like, when have you guys honestly said that, hey, I have a strawberry, and I'm just not going to use it anymore? Like, I don't know. Amanda Pierce says, we love you at JFM. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, D. Millen, knowing that, uh, I won't buy 30 mil flavorings from Bull City. I know. I mean, that is definitely like, a you know, that's definitely a problem that could arise with them. Like, I know. See, I, I, I honestly don't know how I feel about these unicorn bottles myself. Like, because, again, you have to change everything over, and I don't know. To me, it's, it just seems like a huge knockdown risk. I don't know. Like, I already knocked... The reason why I'm saying this so much and this whole knockdown thing is because, like, I'm so bad at knocking things over. Like, literally, I'll be going to grab something, knocking stuff over, and... Because they're long, skinny, and all that, I'm going to knock them over. But, you know. I know some people are going to feel that way no matter what, though. So, I don't know. But anyways, let, let, I'm getting off track. I'm getting off track. Sorry, guys. Okay, so the Juicy Strawberry. Yeah, I think it's a cross between, like, ripe and red touch. But then again, it's also kind of like... Also has, like, kind of like some aspects of, uh, what do you call it? In a wear shisha strawberry, too, where it's like... A nice sugary strawberry. It's kind of like a, a hybrid strawberry if you really think about it. But yeah, I like it. I So far, I, I mix this like uh, strawberry and cream. It has like a whole bunch of different flavors. It's not like an ordinary strawberry cream. It has like Vienna cream. I even put Tyrone in here. And it's steeping right now. And it smells really good. And made this on the 16th. So this has about two days on it. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm still working with it. Obviously, I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, go out and buy that strawberry. It's the best end-all, be-all strawberry. When I taste it on the back of my hand, I only made one mix. But I do see there's promise in that strawberry. Really tasty. Really tasty. Then again, I don't think anybody would be disappointed if they picked it up. So, yeah, I could probably recommend that one for sure. Uh, the nail racks are too shallow. Yeah, like, are you, if you're talking about, like, the nail polish racks or the lipstick uh, racks, like this right here. Hold on. I have a whole bunch of these things from the dollar store. Like, I just picked up a ton of them. I mean, it would fit, but, like, I mean, you still kind of, you're still kind of shallow. You still kind of have that risk, like, I mean, put a whole bunch of them in there. I mean, like, you can stand them up straight, but, like, I don't know. Still seems like not the best option. I don't know. But it's something. I mean, I guess you could make it cool. But, see, the problem, too, is with these things, they're so close together, and there's not enough, like, height difference where it's hard to see what's behind it. You know? Yeah, like, I, I can't see what's behind here. See? 
You guys know what I'm talking about. D. Millen says those are dumb. I wish my dollar store had them. They're at the Dollar Tree, man. I thought... Oh, well, then again, they might only have a certain amount. I don't know if they're, like, nationwide or anything. I'd be pissed if they sent me those bottles. Wow, D. Mellon's really mad at them. <laughs> Damn it. See, that's one thing that I kind of don't know if I like about the drag. Like, it automatically shuts off after so long if you don't actively use it. Maybe that's, like, a safety feature in the new update. I don't know. Uh, let's see. It's me, dude. Do donut flavors take a month to steep? Uh, it depends who you ask. Some people, it does take longer. Some people, it doesn't. It also depends on what donut flavors you're using. Like, if you're using Capella's Glazed Donut, that one tends to take a little longer than, say, Zapola from Flavor Art. So, it really depends. Capella's Glazed Donut is, like, a serious steeper. Hey, Tommy Vapors, what's going on? Uh, hey, JFM, are you going to Foxwoods in March? Yes, I will definitely be at Foxwoods, for sure. I'm definitely looking forward to that. I was saying that last round, like, I really love these conventions that go on. Really want to go. Oh, but uh, hopefully my wife will let me. Well, it's going to be like a month after the baby's born. So, I mean, it's going to be like a hard time and everything because, like, with the baby and stuff like that. But I, I think we can make it work, though. Actually, you might. Well, no, you don't want to bring a baby to a vape convention. Um, I probably could do it. I definitely want to. I'm excited. I'm. I will, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm just thinking out loud. You guys know me by now. That's just how I work. I think out loud, say things, and put my foot in my mouth later. All right. So let's talk about some of these silver line flavors. And you know what? I'm. I'm gonna skip ahead and talk right about one that I'm really excited about. Okay. And I haven't heard a lot about this one. Like I don't hear a lot of people talking about this one. Okay. From Silver Line, right? And if you guys don't know, just for anybody who's new or anybody who hasn't heard about Silverline yet, just to clarify, Silverline is Capella's new line of flavors that are more cost effective because basically they source all the ingredients in-house and they make them in-house so they don't have to outsource any ingredients. Now, there was a little thing from Nicotine River. I, I don't know if it was a misprint or something, but... A lot of other mixers are really holding on to that, but that's not from what I was hearing. But a lot of the thing was, oh, they're half-strength Capella flavors. I don't see that they're half-strength, at least not the ones I've tried so far. Um, from what I was told and from what I've read is that they just source them from in-house and they don't have to outsource them. So that's where you get the savings. Anyways, so with that said... Now that you guys know what they are, if you didn't already, probably most of you do. Um, this one has me really excited, and that's Silver Lines Fruity Circles. Man, oh man, this flavor right here. Mm, mm, mm. I swear to God, this is like. Obviously, it's not. Okay, let me, let me say this. It's not going to be the end-all, be-all, fruity circles flavor. By no means, okay? But it's a very welcome piece to the puzzle, okay? Say you mix this with this fruit circles. Then you mix some fruity flakes from Flavor West. You're kind of building the whole picture of fruity flakes. Like, this was like... This is like a component that's been missing the whole time. You kind of get a little bit more of like the... Kind of get like a little bit more of the crispiness to the actual flake, right? And you're kind of getting some more notes that you weren't getting with uh, Flavor West Fruity Flakes. Like, 
Flavor West Fruity Flakes, you get a lot of the lemon and a lot of the other citruses, but this kind of like, I think this is like almost the rest of the piece of the puzzle, obviously, other than stuff like putting meringue in there or stuff like uh, berry cereal or maybe a uh, crunch cereal if you don't want to use the berry cereal, but this is definitely a welcome addition. I already made uh, one variation with this. I didn't use it and mix it with any of the other fruit uh, fruit circle flavors yet, but or fruit flake flavors. But I do imagine if you mix this with some of the other ones and make a fruity pebbles recipe, it's gonna be banging. And you best believe that shit's gonna be coming out for me. Okay, so that's something I'm working on. I already have one variation right. Where is it? Yeah, I just called it Fruity Krispies. So what I did was I mixed crunchy cereal. I mixed fruit circles. I mixed some marshmallow in there. Like I was just trying like a different kind of like maybe like a fruit, fruity Rice Krispie treat or something like that. But I, I was just trying to mess around with the flavor, mix it, see how it mixed. And now this flavor, it's not like one of those flavors where it's like really strong. So, I mean, this is kind of where I put my foot in my mouth, right? But this flavor, it's not like one of those that are, like, really strong where you have to use it at, like, maybe 2 or 3%. No, this one's higher up. This one you're probably using at more, like, 4, 5, 6%. Yeah. So, it's definitely not one of the stronger ones that I've seen from them. But on the other hand, you have Blueberry Extra from Silverline, which is a brand new one that I mixed with. And Blueberry Extra is definitely a lot stronger of a flavor than the fruit circles and also this blueberry extra doesn't resemble blueberry extra from tfa in my opinion this one is more of like a dark blueberry it tastes more like uh it almost kind of has a lot of the same aspects of bilberry from flavor art right so you're kind of getting like a more of a musky dark blueberry from it Yeah. Yeah, maybe like a cross between like blueberry, uh, I'm sorry, bilberry and blueberry wild, maybe. Yeah. You're almost crossing into like a black currant, almost, almost. But that that that's kind of what I get from blueberry extra from Silverline. So yeah, I definitely think this one's worth talking about in terms of blueberry. I'm pretty sure some good recipes are going to be made with this bad boy. So, that's another one. Now, one of the ones that I was really excited for, and as you can see, they ran out of the 30 mils. So, I just got the 4 ounce one. Because literally, these silver line ones, the price differences, they're actually very small compared to the other ones. So, you can actually buy a lot for like pretty much a lot cheaper than you would normally. But, uh, the whipped marshmallow. The whipped mar... Whip the whipped marshmallow really had me excited. But, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been able to mix anything that tasted really... Cinnamon... That... Wait. I ordered that one. Dude. I think I did, hold on, oh my god, I think I didn't get one for my order, unless I forgot to, I could have swore I ordered that one, no, because thanks, uh, Joshua Vape said, uh, do you like the cinnamon sugar one, and I didn't remember trying it, or mixing with it, and now, now I'm thinking about it, I, I could have swore I ordered it, and I don't have it, let me just check my order real quick. Dude, that's not cool. It might have been my bad, so let me just let me just make sure first. I mean, I'm I have no doubt that if if there was a mistake, they'll make it right. That's not my worry. I'm just now noticing that I don't have it. Uh, let's see. Okay, where are we? Crunchy 
crunchy cereal. Got that. Oh shit. No, it was my bad. It didn't put it in my cart. Damn it. Well, I didn't order cinnamon sugar or the cinnamon one. That's my bad. Yeah, no, it's it's not in my order. Damn it. Yeah, it kinda bugs me. Thought I got everything. Oh well. Well, we all make mistakes, right? Yeah, dude, I I was excited for that one, too. Like, thanks for reminding me. That was one I really wanted to try, too. Man, I have a feeling I can make some really good recipes with that thing. Like the cinnamon sugar one. Is it really good, though? Man. Of course, I forgot it. It's my luck. What's up, Swifty Vapor? What's going on, man? How's it going? Let me just see if I missed anything in the chat real quick. Uh, Junior Junior, what you vaping on, JFM? Uh, I'm vaping on two different things right now. And actually, both of them are not my own. Both of them are ones that I'm looking to clone. The first one, I actually made a post about this in the Facebook group. And I have talked about this on the channel before that I'm working on cloning it, but I haven't got it perfect to what I exactly wanted. And the first one's Pound Cake from Telios. That's the first one. And it's a really nice pound cake recipe, Like, but it's different. It's, it's sweet, it has a lot of frosting, and it's really buttery and rich and stuff. And I've gotten close, but I haven't nailed it to the point where I don't miss the original, and that's when I'll stop. So that's kind of like my little unicorn thing going on. And then I am also vaping on this one, which is a brand new find for me. But I will get into this in a minute. But it's uh, called the, the Standard Gummy, and it's a white gummy, okay? And again, that one's not mine either. But now that we're talking about that, this 27 Bears flavor, right? The new silver line? It smells exactly like it. Exactly like it. So, I think I'm going to try to clone it using this. Now, I don't know if they're specifically using this flavor. They might have built it themselves using maybe something like jelly candy and some other flavors. But, I'm going to try to make something similar to it. So, let's not say clone. Let's say let's make something similar to it. But, yeah. This 27 Bears one smells excellent too. Now, I, I haven't mixed this one up yet. Because I've only messed with a lot of the fruity ones. The blueberry extra, the juicy strawberry. So I haven't mixed it up. I can't really tell about like the texture of it because that's something big in like candies, especially like gummy bear type recipes. So I'm definitely looking forward to mixing some candy vapes up and trying to see like how good the consistency, if it really tastes like chewy and all that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to make a gummy bear recipe. I'll probably try to make a well, like a Swedish fish. Um, the black currant. Now, the black currant, as you guys know, I really don't like black currant too much. But I want to see if this one would be different from Flavor Art, if I'd be able to care for it more. I haven't mixed it, but off the hand and off smelling it and tasting it off the hand, right? It, it tastes very similar, if not maybe a little bit weaker than Flavor Art's black currant. But... They taste close to me. But again, I'm not really an avid black currant person because I honestly don't care for it too much. Okay, so we talked about those ones. Let me go up for a minute. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Thanks, Desi. Hey, if you guys would, please put a like. It really helps. Thank you. Uh, Swifty Vapor, right on, cool. I'm thinking about getting 
a couple from the Silver Line. Yeah, man. I mean, a few of them I'm really excited for. A few of them I'm not really over the moon for. Like, for example, the that white, uh, sorry, that whipped marshmallow. It seems really cool in theory. I haven't mixed up anything to write home about with it yet. So, take that into consideration. But then again, if you're getting the silver line, that's the awesome thing about the silver line. The silver line is actually like pretty much cheap like TFA. So, you can actually risk it and see if you like it for yourself. Thanks, Tommy. I really appreciate it, man. Oh, here's a good one that I liked. And this should be no surprise to anybody. And it's butter pecan. Or pecan, or however you say it. Yeah, it's a nice butter pecan flavor. Again, it's not really... This one isn't really a strong one either. But it tastes really good. I would probably equate this one in strength to like a Flavor West flavor, honestly. Uh, Graham says, I put the recipe out today using 27 fish. Sweet. Now, what what did you make? Did you make like a Swedish fish recipe or did you use it in something else? Like, see, the thing is, and I don't know if you guys can relate, but a problem that I always like come across with like certain flavors, like say, for example, like a Swedish fish flavor or a 27 fish or... What, what have you, but, like, certain flavors, or, like, for example, like, rainbow candy, right? The first thing that comes to mind is, hey, well, let's make a Skittles, or let's make a Swedish fish, right? But what else could you use it for? Like, they seem like kind of flavors that are pretty much dedicated to making that specific profile. I mean, I'm sure there might be a way to bend it if, like, something comes to your mind, and you're like, hey, maybe I could use, like, maybe I have a percent in there. Just to get maybe some of the, like, uh, the texture of it or something. But other than that, like, I don't see how you can make multiple profiles using one of those type of flavors, if you know what I mean. But correct me if I'm wrong, but, like, certain flavors I feel are like that. Alright, so let's try Rainbow Candy. Yeah, Rainbow Candy. Yeah, it's not one of the ones I'm really over the moon about either. Okay, let's see. I already talked about blueberry extra. I pretty much talked about those. And pretty much the last one is Biscuit. Biscuit, guys. Biscuit. Let me clear my palette real quick. Yeah, I got that cinnamon bun curry going on there. Amanda Pierce says, so what you're going to mix up. I was thinking about mixing something up with these new flavors. Honestly, that's what I was thinking. Uh, Swedish fish goes well with TFA Cola for a fuzzy cola or fizzy cola bottles. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see that. Cold licorice. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so I'm trying biscuit now. It seems like this kind of has a lot of resemblance to uh, what's it called? Sort of like in a way a biscuit, but not as strong. But more like a, this one actually reminds me more of a Perilliums bit. Is it biscuit or cookie? Let's call it. Uh, they call theirs cookie. Let's see what theirs is like. No, uh, maybe not really. I mean. This one, this cookie from uh, Perillium, maybe seems like it has like more uh, 
more like a bakery, more like a, it's more like a grainy, like maybe acetylpyrazine or something in it. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. It, it's kind of like, the biscuit kind of is like anywhere biscuit-esque, but it's definitely not as strong. I don't know. See, like, I, I don't know if I could see somebody benefiting from using this biscuit over anywhere a biscuit. Like, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't seem like any more buttery. It doesn't, like, I don't know. To me, it just seems like a run-of-the-mill biscuit. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I don't think people, I think people would be able to use this if they had it, okay? But I don't think it has a leg up over anywhere a biscuit, if you know what I mean. That's how I feel towards that one. But it, it, it does taste good. But, I mean, keep in mind, it's going to be weaker and just not anything special compared to it. You know what I mean? I mean, so I guess, like, without the cinnamon sugar one, of course, because I don't have that one. I can't believe I forgot it. Okay, so without those, I would probably say... Uh, Fruit Circles, Blueberry Extra. I do like the taste off the hand of 27 Fish, but I haven't mixed with that one yet. Um, biscuit. See, I don't want to say no on Biscuit because Biscuit isn't absolutely horrible, but I don't necessarily find a need over anywhere. So, yeah, let's put that in the no-go pile. Um... 27 bears, I really like that one. I think that one's going to be useful. Butter pecan, I do like that one. Black currant. I mean, it's good black currant, but I don't see it being any different or taking over flavor arts black currant. And I don't feel like it's going to be like something different that would add to a black currant flavor. So, see, like, unlike this, like... See, that's why I'm adding fruit circles in the go pile and black currant in the no go pile. Because fruit circles, while there are other fruit f circles and fruit flake flavors out there, I feel that this could add another piece to the puzzle. Whereas this black currant, I, it's a good black currant. I feel it's like really like flavor arts in some ways, but at the same time, I don't feel like if you didn't have this one, it would add anything. You know what I mean? So that one's gonna go in the no go pile, in my opinion, of course. So I think. For me, without the cinnamon one, because I don't have that one, so if I was to like say they're somewhat interesting, is the fruit circles, blueberry extra, 27 fish, 27 bears, and butter pecan. And of course, I'm gonna mix with all of them. I'm gonna try them out and like see what I can come up with, but I think those ones stand out the most right now to me. And then, of course, this one seems promising, crunchy cereal, but that's TFA. And, of course, the juicy strawberry. It, it, the juicy strawberry is good. It's really good. Uh, TC, what's up, man? How's it going, buddy? Uh, Scavenger Clouds, what's up? A little late, but made it. Oh, I'm glad you're here, man. I'm glad you're here. Well, actually, I was thinking about mixing something up. I was going to mix something up with some of these new flavors. Now, I don't know what I want to mix up. I was thinking... I could do a cereal and try to, like, actually use the fruit circles how we were talking about. Or I could try and go after a clone for this gummy bear clone. Or... I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys... What do you guys think we should mix up? If you guys have a preference, leave it in the chat. Cincinnati King says, wonder what 0.25% uh, of FA forest fruit would do to juicy strawberry. I don't know. I would try it out, man. See, it's little tweaks like that that could, like, change the game. So try it out and let me know. Um, juicy strawberry and some type of cream. Okay. Use that 20 cereal. 
Ugh, use that 27 bears to make a yummy gummy. <laughs> Oh, well, actually, I'm one. Hold on, let me fill this up because this is about to go dry, and we will try to get something similar. Cause I think I have an idea of how I want to make that uh, gummy bears. But unless you guys say something different, There's juicy strawberry and biscuit. Mr. Burgundy says Fruit Loops covered Swedish gummy bear fish with butter pecan and black currant whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, let's just put everything in at 1% and see what happens. I don't have anything but Caps Jelly Candy, though. Well, actually, Cincinnati King, that was actually one of the things I was thinking of mixing with that flavor. I think it would make an excellent, like, gummy bear. Mixing jelly candy with it, honestly. Gummy sound good. Everybody gotta love the gummy. I mean, we could throw some... Ju I mean, why couldn't we? We could throw some juicy strawberry and gummies, couldn't we? I mean, that doesn't sound so bad. I'm getting caught up in the wires there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so... Well, actually... Nah. Nah. That won't work. For a minute, I was going crazy. I was like, oh, hey, let's throw some fruit circles in the gummy. Then I'm like, nah. That might not be too good. Alright, so let's get the 27 bears. We'll make some gummies. Let, let, let's try to throw some of the juicy strawberry in there. Why not, right? There could be strawberry gummies. Yeah, it's already candy like. It tastes like strawberry bubblegum to me. Yeah, perfect. Sweet. Alright. Already got my super sweet on standby. You already know we're going to need that. Um. Yeah, that 27 fish, though, man. That stuff actually smells, like, really gummy. Really good, though. I'm excited to mix that one. That one might actually be good as a standalone. Maybe you need a little shisha strawberry with it. Maybe not. Um. Well, let's make it simple. Let's not overcomplicate it. But... Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. 27 bears. Let's make it simple. We'll just do 27 bears, jelly candy, right? Juicy strawberry. And then we'll do a little bit of shisha strawberry, right? Unless we should add another fruit in there that's not a strawberry. Want a good pumpkin pie vape at JFM? I am working on that, Crispy. But that's something I'm working on behind the scenes. Because that one's been a pain in the ass for me, if you know what I mean. Pumpkin pies are not easy. At least not to get authentic. I mean, I, I do have a leg up. I do have the good flavors to use for it. Like Flavor Pumpkin Spice and Hankson Pumpkin Pie. But I'm still just tweaking it. and like fine tweaking it right now. All right, yeah, so, all right, I'm going to put up the logo real quick, and I'm going to put on some music, and I'm going to get some flavors together, and we're going to make it, okay? So let me just uh, transition real quick. Here we go.
All right, what is up? All right, so check it out. I did grab a couple few more that kind of appealed to me real quick. All right, so what I got is, all right, so I was thinking 27 bears, right? And jelly candy to kind of like, you know, start that gummy bear off going, right? And now here's what I got. You said we want to use juicy strawberry, right? Which I think is awesome. So we'll probably throw some juicy strawberry in there. And then uh, Cincinnati King also said maybe some... Got some beeping going on. It's so like maybe some shisha strawberry. So I'm like, yeah, why not, right? Who doesn't love strawberry? And then I was like, well, why stop there? Because when do I ever make something simple? Doesn't happen much, right? So here are two more flavors that I was thinking of. And, and let me know what you guys think. Because if you guys don't think so, I'll just leave it out. I'll leave it out. But here's two more possibilities. Golden pineapple, right? Gummy bears. Gummy bears is a pineapple flavor, right? So maybe some golden pineapple or and, and or sweet tangerine, right? Get like a little bit of orange going on in there, right? How do you guys feel so it's that? Strawberry taffy. Yeah, that's another good one. Strawberry taffy will definitely help the texture too. Yes. Yes, very nice. Very nice. I like that. I'm gonna get some strawberry taffy. <laughs> do I got strawberry taffy? Of course I do. I got like a bomb airhead recipe. No, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, no, I feel this one. But, see, now I don't feel like we need three strawberries in here, though. Yeah, but I think this would definitely help with some of that texture. Alright, so, let how about let's use... Let's take out shisha strawberry. Well, excuse me. Let's take out shisha strawberry. Because I, I think juicy strawberry, because I really want to use juicy strawberry. And strawberry taffy will lend on the texture. So... Yeah, let's take out shisha strawberry. Just because three strawberries is pushing it a little bit. Okay. Alright, so yeah, let's let's build a recipe. Let's build a recipe on this. Alright, so let me um go to my desktop and go to ELR. There we go. Screen. Okay. Dale Griffith says, add a touch of blackberry to the strawberry to give it a jammy taste. I think I learned that from you or DIY Vapor. Yeah, but I'm not really trying to get go jammy. We're trying to go jelly. Uh, Demo and JFM, did you get the free samples of Real Flavors Taffy Base? Yes. Yes, I did. But honestly, I would rather use Strawberry Taffy. Uh, strawberry Banana Milkshake at JFM. Yeah, it's something we can make in the future. Actually, don't I already have a strawberry banana? Maybe I didn't put it in public. I know I've made one before. It was actually pretty good. Alright. Well, let's build this, okay? So, we're gonna name this... Um... What should we name this? The Bummy Gummy? No, I'm just kidding. That won't work. Um, I don't know. We'll call it the delicious gummy. I probably spelled that wrong. Yeah. Delicious gummy. Alright. So, let's make 30 mils because that's what we do here. Do 3 milligrams. We'll do 70 30. Alright, so let's add flavors. So the first flavor we're going to be adding. See, I wonder how this would also pair with, like, but I, I don't know if using two different gummies and one would work with this, but Flavor West has a really good gummy flavor, too. 
27 bears. Strawlicious gummy. Yes. Yes. No. We'll make this under the strawtastic thing. We'll do another strawtastic gummy. Yes. Perfect. I like the way you're going with that though, Cincinnati. I think that's perfect because I already have a strawtastic recipe. This would be perfect. Okay, so the 27 gummies again. Uh, sorry, 27 bears. Oh man, I hate these stupid rings. Okay, so I haven't used this one. But it's not a strong flavor at all. Like I can tell off the back of my hand. It's not really strong. Um... I don't know, let's see what other people use in this hat real quick. Let's see what else there is. So let's uh see liquid recipes. Where is it? There we go. Alright, let's go into resources. Flavor list. Twenty seven. Wait, is that what it is? Oh, it's 27 bears. I'm getting confused now. Okay. Alright. Let's see if anybody did anything for it yet. Notes. A clear gummy texture with a sweet sugary taste that will leave you growling for more. Oh. That was done by Chef's Flavors. Of course, it had to sound like a sales pitch from them, right? Okay, so it seems like people are using it in recipes around 5%. Alright, yeah, well, since we're using other stuff to kind of, like, build the texture, I, I think we could use it around there. That sounds fine. Alright, yeah, so we'll use it around 5%. Just so you guys know, that's a pretty cool trick to use. I mean, don't necessarily go by every single one of their percentage or, like, use their best judgment. But, I mean, it's definitely a good starting point to help you find out about some flavors. Now, with that said, people are going to have different palettes to you and different tastes and stuff, so uh, your experience may vary. Uh, I'm seeing it, and it's 5% in some recipes since Cincinnati King. And Will Jameson said 5 to 7%, I believe. Yeah, so 5, five seems good. 5 seems good. Okay, so next, let's do Jelly Candy. Now, I like this flavor, guys. I like this flavor a lot. And because it's gummy flavor, let's go 2% jelly candy. Yeah, buddy. Okay, jelly candy. 2%. Strawberry taffy. Because we're going to want to get some strawberry and taffy. Spell that wrong. There it is. Okay. Strawberry taffy. Um. How strawberry do we want this? Not too strawberry. Not too strawberry because we're gonna throw some other flavors in there. So let's do let's do one point five. One point five. All right, followed up by, let's do Juicy Strawberry next. Wow, we're already 552 recipes with Juicy Strawberry. People loving it. People loving it. Cincinnati King's missing 27 bears. Cincinnati King also says yes. Jelly candy, but never use it. Yeah, it's really good at making a jelly consistency. I really do like it. It's, jelly candy works good in so many different ways, like in terms of texture, especially if it's fruity. Um, I forgot what I went with on my other recipe with this. Well, 
You know what? Since we're already looking at the other one, let's see what their uh, community is using this at. If I can see my mouse. Damn. So the problem is doing videos, you have to have these lights in your face and it kind of blinds you from the screen. Okay, so what am I looking at? Juicy strawberry. People are using about two and a half percent in recipes. Okay. Yeah. I think my other one I did about two percent. Okay. Well, we'll go three. Because why not? Because why not? Uh, Cincinnati King says, and strawberry taffy, I'll have to try it. Dude, yeah, strawberry taffy, definitely another good one. Alright, sweet tangerine. Sweet carbon. Uh, uh, uh. uh, that's good. That's good stuff right there. Uh, Swifty Vapor, don't know about the others yet, but Strawberry Taffy is a shit, Cincinnati. Yeah, I concur. I concur. Alright. Sweet Tangerine. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so Sweet Tangerine. This is one that fades for me. But I also don't want this being all about the strawberry. I mean, sorry. All about the orange or tangerine, should I say. So... Let's go to. We'll kind of just be there in the background. And then pineapple. This one's also another fader. But I kind of just wanted it to be a little, like a little blend of fruit in the background. Kind of like. I kind of want it to be like a. You know like you just grabbed a handful of gummy bears. And shoved them in your mouth hole. You know what I mean. So yeah. Alright so. Golden pineapple. I'm going to actually do this one a little bit more. Yeah, I, s I suck at English. There we go. Did it work? No. Nope. Come on. There we go. Thank you. I'd be... I seriously wonder where I'd be without spell check for my illiterate ass. All right, so I'm gonna go 3% here, and then we're gonna add super sweet, super sweet. Oh, actually, let's see, I'm gonna do that one. Um, oh shit, now I'm drawing a blank. Not meringue, but there was another one that I was thinking of adding. What was it, Oba Oba. I think we should add some Oba Oba, because that is like a, candy shell almost but it would like totally like make shit really pop out in the sweet factor hold on let me get some real quick come on Ugh. wow i just had to really stretch for that okay oh yeah i think this would do good hell yeah all right, Oba Oba, if you guys didn't know, seriously, Oba Oba is the bomb. It's the bomb.com. Okay, so we're going to put some of that in. Oba Oba. They call me Mr. Boombastic. Semi fantastic. Okay, what? This always happens to me with Oba Oba. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna write it in. I don't care. Some some ELR troll is gonna go onto my recipe and be like, "Oh, you didn't type in your flavor right." Be like one star for you, but I don't care because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bow down to its bad fill system. Okay, so I'm gonna put in uh, for Oba Oba. I'm gonna do one percent, just a little bit. All right, I think we're good there. I think we should stop adding flavors now before I go overboard. Okay, so yeah, let's mix this bad boy up. All right, if it tastes good, guys, we will make this public. But you know what? I really hope it does. <laughs> I really hope it does. Okay. All 
I mean, this one that I got this uh, white gummy from uh, the Standard Gummy. I guess that's the name of the company. I guess all they make is gummy stuff. I don't know, but it is really good. My fiance even my fiance. Damn it! I can't call it the right name this stream, man. My wife actually liked it so much where she took some. Normally, she's the type that only vapes one flavor, so it's, it's pretty good. Does Gearbest take a long time to ship? I think I heard that that was one of the places that do take a long time to ship, so I would watch out. But I don't know. I don't know for sure because I've never personally uh, bought anything from them, so I can't tell you from experience, which usually I like to talk about. From what I remember hearing, though, is I think they are one that does take a little bit to get to you. Kind of like Fast Tech. I think they're like the other Fast Tech, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's probably from China. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. All right. Well, now we got that going. We got my scale. We got my flavors. Pretty much got everything. Pretty much ready to go. All right. Just organize everything in front of me. Okay. Let's change up the cameras. scale transition boom hope you guys can see that okay put that right there get my gloves on like a good boy to thank everyone that has subscribed to my Golly Vapes Now channel. Just out of curiosity, Dad, wh why is the now in there? Like, I mean, I could see Godly Vapes, like, Godly Vapes, but, like, I don't get the now part. Just, just curious. Like, is it, like, does it have, like, meaning or something? I don't know. I just think it flows better. Godly vapes. I just don't know the now thing. That's all I'm saying. But do you, man. If you like it, keep it. That's all I'm... I'm just curious. I'm just curious. But yeah, if, if you guys don't know that as a channel, if you guys are just coming in, make sure you guys go check it out. Get my fat hands in this glove. Oh, God. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, don't believe them when they say one size fits all. It ain't true. It ain't true. Okay, here we go. Again, knocking things over. This is what I'm telling you. These unicorn bottles. I'm going to keep knocking them over. Okay. First ingredient. I'm like so ADD today. Okay. The first ingredient is 27 bears from Silverline. And 27 bears is in at... 5% or 1.50 grams. Oh yeah, that that's really nice for dripping. As I spill some. Alright, there we go. 27 bears is in. Next up is golden pineapple. Yeah, oh. Golden pineapple is in at 3%, 0.94 grams. By jelly candy, jelly candy, jelly candy is in at two percent, a point six zero grams. Perfect. 
Okay, now we're doing juicy strawberry from Flavor Arts. Juicy strawberry is at 3% or 0 0.90 grams. Oh my god, it smells so good. Alright, so these unicorn bottles, in terms of like, you know, putting them in your bottles, like using them, they do seem pretty cool. I mean, my angle was a little off at first, but I mean, you know, dripping into a bottle using weight, I mean, it does seem pretty cool. But I do see a whole knockover factor there. But then again, this is me while I'm mixing into a unicorn bottle too, so there's that. I'm just kind of thinking out loud, like, because I bet a lot of you guys are thinking the same thing about these new unicorns. Alright, so Oba Oba, I put in at 1%, 0 0.30 grams. go followed up by strawberry taffy strawberry taffy is in at 1.5 grams or sorry uh, one and a half percent or 0.45 grams Oh, you know what would have been a good one to put in here too, which I just thought of now, is uh, Sour Gummy from uh, Liquid Barn. Sour Gummy is a great flavor, but, and it tastes like, a lot like, you know, kind of like gummy bears or gummy worms, but the only thing is, it has a reminiscence of sour, it doesn't really come across to me as sour, but like to use it in terms of like making a gummy bear recipe, I think it would have worked really well. Alright, so now we're putting in super sweet. I put in super sweet at 1%, so that's 0 0.32 grams. Alright. And now, last ingredient is sweet tangerine. From Capella, it's in that 2%, 0.45 grams. Sorry, 0.54, yeah, I said that. Mm, this one smells so good, too. All right. So now it's time for the nicotine. Today I'm using 100 milligram nicotine suspended in PG. So you want to shake, make sure you shake that very well. If this was VG suspended, you would want to make sure you shake it even more. And at minimum, wear gloves and keep make sure you don't get it on your skin and keep it out of reach of children and pets. This is the more serious part of mixing your own e-liquid. So take it slow and make sure you get it as accurately as possible. All right, but in this case, I'm making a three milligram nicotine. So I need 0.93 grams. Perfect. All right. So now we're doing uh, seventy thirty today. So I need 2.65 grams of PG. BGs in. And now for the BGs. Alright, so for the BGs, I need 26.49. 26.49. John Fina, what's going on, man? Welcome, welcome. Uh, so, 26.49. Yeah. 
I hate being silent while pouring the VG, but it seems like you have to do the most concentration while getting it in the bottle. <laughs> Maybe because it takes the longest, I don't know. Alright, I think I want to leave a little room though. I need to put my Norpro in there. Yeah, I think we're good there because I want to put my Norpro in there to mix it up. Okie dokie. So, let's switch the camera. I'm going to mix it with my Norpro mixer. Transition. Boom. All right, let me get my gloves off. All right, so if you guys don't already know, which you probably do, but if you guys are new to the channel, this is a Norpro mixer. This just allows me to mix inside the bottles. It's not 100% necessary for making your own e-liquid, but it helps you from getting all the hand cramps. And D-Millen, I already know you don't like these. But with that said, it does make your life easier. Just saying. Much love. Oh yeah. One thing though is I, I I don't think the Nord Pro mixer works as well in unicorn bottles though. I have to say that. Dad says I couldn't get it to do the channel until I put something else. Just put it now. Oh. That makes sense. Email and you asked our opinions and me being opinionated to slam those bottles. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dale Griffiths says, I got one of those Norpro mixers. Didn't think much of it to be honest. So what, you just didn't use it, or you didn't think it did a good job, or like what? Because, I mean, all it really does, and never really said it did anymore, is it just mixes it so you don't have to shake it. I mean, in those terms, it does its job. I mean, is it going to fast steep your e-liquid? No, I don't think so. I just do it so I don't have to shake it. <laughs> that's That's the plain, simple truth. That's the one thing it does. Except for in terms of this damn Gorilla bottle. It doesn't seem like it does as well, because I don't think they, the little things can extend as much. So. Yeah. I think I'm going to end up just shaking it right now anyways, because since it's in such a thin bottle, like, the things need to, like, extend. Like, in a 30 ml bottle, it seems to do better. Because, like, the little prongs at the end can extend more. But since uh, Gorilla Bottle is so skinny, like, it tries to spin, and it only can, like, extend so much because the walls are, like, really close together. You know what I mean? Alright, so let me just wipe this bottle off. Let's shake it. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Jonathan, um, have you tested... Phenomenal berry again. How did it turn out after a few days deep? I have not yet. I have not. Probably should though soon. This does smell amazing though. Yeah, if I can find it real quick, I will. I just gotta look for it. Where did I put it? Oh yeah, right here. Yeah, maybe we'll try some of that out too. Good call, good call. 
Swifty Vapor. Add the crappy little mixer you get. The Liquid Barn starter pack when I started a while back, so I don't use it. It doesn't fit in the bottles. Yeah, well, th that's the reason why the Norpro is cool, because it fits in the bottles. I mean, if you're mixing in beakers and stuff like that, I mean, that mixer is still pretty cool, but that one... <laughs> if D-Millen has a problem, she definitely has a problem with that one. That one puts a lot of air in it. A lot of air. But that's a little other conversation for another time. I mean, we've already talked about that. Alright, yeah, this is mixed up enough. Alright, let's smell this thing. Oh, guys, 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 guys. What do we got here? Alright, let me uh, clear this off real quick. Sorry about this, I gotta clear off an atomizer. Dad says, GFM, now is the placeholder in tune. I can find something better to go with godly vapes. Oh, in time, I can find something better to go with. Yeah, no, I'm just, it was just a thought. I was just like, I mean, godly vapes, I mean, that could be cool. Like, I mean, I know you're trying to like your own thing, but like, then I saw now and was like, well, why does it say now? I just, I don't know. It just seems like a flow is better godly vapes. That's all I'm saying. But I mean, just whatever you feel like it's your channel. I mean, if you think it's cool, do it. I mean, that's all that matters really, right? All right, so I'm dripping that right now. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't like it. Uh, God's honest truth is I don't like it. But then again, I don't know how it's going to steep out either. Like, it tastes like, uh, I don't know, it tastes like there's too much going on, to be honest. Yeah, I, I think if, I think if we were to make a gummy bear, we'd have to rework this. But again, I don't know, maybe it'll steep out better. Maybe it's just because it's a candy and, you know, everything's kind of, like, needs to calm down. I don't know. But right now, it just kind of tastes like there's a lot going on and it's not, and it's not, like, pleasant. It's like, it's like I can taste a little bit of every flavor, but it's, like, not distinguished. It's kind of a little bit muddled and um, it's a little bit harsh, too. Honestly, D. Millen, I, I couldn't tell you if it's 27 bears because uh, I mix so much shit with it, you know? 
I put golden pineapple in there. I put jelly candy. I put juicy strawberry. I put oba oba, strawberry taffy. I mean, I couldn't really honestly tell you if it's the 27 bears or not. Well, I mean, I might steep out good. I don't know. I'm going to have to get back to you on that. I'm not going to make it public yet. I definitely uh, will come back to this. If I try in a couple of days and I think I could go somewhere with it or maybe tweak something, I will. But I definitely don't think this is ready for prime time yet at all. Or even something I'd want to make public. It's actually, right now it's kind of embarrassing to tell you the truth. Um, I don't, th I don't think it's the Oba Oba, honestly. I think if anything, Oba Oba would help this. Yeah, it, it might be the, it might be the, I think it might be the jelly candy. Maybe I was a little bit too liberal with it. I probably should have maybe brought that down. 2% can be pretty high for jelly candy, depending on what you're making with it, so. Well, you can't wake winners all the time. I mean, we'll see how it steeps out and see what happens down the line. But honestly, it's, I don't know. It, see, it might just be something that needs to steep too because I've never worked with 27 bears. I don't know. But I don't I don't think it's uh, definitely not something that's perfect right off the shake. I'll tell you that much. And it seems like there's a lot going on. Maybe it's just a matter of like, you know, uh, the sweet tangerine and... All the other fruity profiles needs to calm down a little bit, but I couldn't tell you. It, I think it has something to do with that jelly candy, though. But honestly, the Oba Oba, I think if anything, that would have definitely helped. All right, so real quick though, we'll try. We're gonna try the phenomenal cream that we mixed up um, last stream. Because that thing was phenomenal just off the shake, so I can't wait to see what it's like now. But don't worry, guys. I'm going to revisit the Gummy Bear profile, too. Like, I I'm definitely want to clone that you liquid. And there's a lot of different other ways I can go towards it. And I haven't really given... This is literally the first time I mixed with 27 Bears. So, like, don't just write it off just because I made a bad mix with it. I mean, just like, just like I know every single one of you, same thing with me. We all don't always push out winners. That's the God-honest truth. Dale Griffith says, I have to say, since watching your videos along with DIY Vapors, my juice is some of the best I've made since I started mixing around five years ago. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I just wish that last mix reflected on that. <laughs> oh, man. No, but they're not all going to be winners. It is what it is. Oh, man. Th this recipe, though. Oh. This one's gonna be good. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a pleasant pick me up. I have a feeling. I have a feeling because that other one was really trash. All right, here we go. so good man that the uh, phenomenal cream man John this stuff's getting good man it's getting a lot thicker than it was before the creams are starting to come out more
You can even taste the whipped cream in there. It's so good. That's actually the first time that like whipped cream has really been been that pronounced for me. Like it actually taste you can actually taste the whipped cream. That's good. Uh, Desi says so far my max has been five different versions of recipe before deciding a winner. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, usually within five recipes, you should be able to like narrow it down because like you should be able to be like, oh well, this worked, this worked. Maybe I should add a little bit more of this or take this down. That. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Mr. Burgundy says I've literally done over three hundred versions of uh, PBJ for the last year and still junk. Well. Peanut butter, peanut butter jelly is definitely not an easy one to do. I mean, to get a good peanut butter that actually tastes like peanut butter, especially if you're a picky person, it, it, it's not it's not one of the easiest profiles to go after for sure. It's kind of like, peanut butter is kind of like chocolate in terms of like it's, it's, it's finicky. Like, just like a lot of the chocolates kind of taste like uh, Tootsie Rolls and, and like nasty chocolate, nasty dry chocolate. Same thing with peanut butter. A lot of the peanut butters aren't really, um, like a creamy peanut butter. A lot of them just taste like peanuts. Like, it doesn't taste like peanut butter. You know what I mean? They, like, a lot of them are dry. I don't know. It, it always seems like there's something missing with peanut butter. Yeah, this one is really good. So, I did make this one public if you guys didn't know. And you have Flavor Flavors, check out Phenomenal Cream. That one's really good. Granny Vape says, well, well, no, they aren't all winners, but you have always been there guiding us. And, oh, my God, has my e-liquid improved since I found you. Thank you, Granny. I really appreciate that. Spetty Vapor said, at JFM, is DIY Vapor on vacation? Haven't seen him in a couple weeks. Uh, no, no, uh, he's just had a lot of work he's been i think he's been like working overtime or something but he's been working a lot and uh he honestly he had a, i think he had a long day at work and he just wanted to spend some time with his family which i think we can all relate to so you know as he always said and like same thing with me like we don't want to feel like doing this as a chore we want to make it feel like you know we want to be excited to go in and make mixed videos and do all this stuff and like you know, he's been working a lot, so, I mean, he probably just wants to see his family and just wasn't feeling mixing tonight, so, I mean, I, I bet you all could probably relate to that in, like, a time where you're just like, you know what, right now I don't really feel like mixing. I'd rather build, I'd rather watch, I'd rather vape, I'd rather watch a movie, you know what I mean? So, that's kind of what it was like, because, like, I'd rather just, you know, hang out with the fam, and I get it, so it's cool. I mean, he'll be back, you know, when he wants to. Yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this mix, for sure. Definitely nice, fruity, creamy. It's good. It's good. Gotcha. Completely understanding. Just wondering. Yeah. All right. So, wow. We've been on for almost two hours, and the wife's about to be home. So, yeah. We're going to have to wrap this up for tonight. Um, next week, now, alright, so just, let me preface it with this before you guys go, um, the past couple of weeks have been really hard on me, like, I don't want to get into, like, so much personal stuff because it's not related, but I really have been having a hard personal life in the past two weeks, and, uh, things are starting to look better in terms of the personal stuff, well, at least a little bit, I mean, everybody always has shit to go through, whatever, but that's why I haven't been able to push out um, my review videos. I'm still backlogged and the content I wanted to. Like, I still want to do more things with the website. I want to do more giveaways. I want to do my review so I can do that giveaway. Like, have a Liquid Barn review I need to do. And then I can do a giveaway on the starter kit. And there's also some other giveaways I wanted to do for you guys. And, like, I just wanted to, like, give back and all that. But, like, I've had literally the past two weeks have been, like, the past two weeks from hell behind the scenes. So, um, next week, I, everything's better. I should be able to pump out way more content, get all that done. Hopefully, we'll be having a giveaway 
next week, if not the week after, because I'll have the reviews out by then, and then we can organize all that. But expect expect more videos, more content, stuff like that. Everything's starting to clear up and look good. Now, if you guys need anything for your DIY arsenal or you're just getting vape gear or whatever, check out the links in the description. It does help the channel. Say you're buying something on Amazon and you want to help out, but you need, like, say you just need to buy, I don't know, a soda from Amazon or what, whatever you buy, okay? If you go to Amazon and click the link, it actually does help the channel and doesn't cost you anything. It just it's an affiliate link so it does help or if you want to support the channel directly there's patreon or there's also discount codes such as uh jfm15 for liquid barn which saves you 15 percent off all the time i don't see anything from it but it passes savings on to you and also there's jfm10 and jfm6 discount codes for both city flavors which they're a sponsor and thank you both city flavors for sponsoring check out their recipe packs and those discount codes will save you money at bull city flavors and also check keep an eye on the jfmdevelopment.ml that is my website i will be updating that with new recipes flavor notes news also there's recommended products and just diy content on there so make sure you always keep an eye on that and if you are new to mixing Check out the JFM Development Just for Gimmicks group where there's a whole bunch of like-minded mixers like me and a lot of you in the chat and a lot more people who can help you in your mixing if you have any questions or that's a really good way to uh, get more personalized help than, you know, through a video leaving a comment and then waiting for a reply and stuff like that. So I think that about wraps it up. Just make sure you guys uh, throw a like on the video and subscribe if you're new here. I really do appreciate every single one of you and all the familiar names who keep constantly coming back to watching my live streams. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, I know not everything runs perfectly or um, I don't always uh, come on on the exact same time every day. So I do appreciate you taking the time and watching my stream no matter what. It really does mean a lot to me. And support your local uh, DIY mixes like D-Mill and D-Mill is on uh, the Vaping Underground Network. She has an excellent show on there make sure you check that out there's zesty vapes there's fresh o3 um there's diy or die there's shindo you follow him um there's so many great people i think graham has a new show coming on make sure you check all, out all them and you uh, support them and thank you so very much for watching i really do appreciate it you guys have yourselves a great night bye